Across Africa, cattle are wealth. As the human element continues to expand, so too do the numbers of cattle and the amount of land these vast herds require. Cattle are bred to be large, meat-bearing animals. Slower than wildlife and larger than most antelope, this makes them a prime target for the apex predator of Africa. Sadly, this puts lions in direct conflict with cattle owners across the continent. And where humans and wildlife are in conflict, wildlife always loses. In southern Mozambique, two male lions have reached maturity and have wandered into a nearby cattle area in search of their own territory, putting humans and their own lives alike at risk. The two offending males have been captured and are in the Karangani Bomas where they've been for several weeks. With the thriving 24 Lions project founded and supported by the Cabela Family Foundation, the genetics of the new males will be welcomed to continue the expansion of this project. We are here at the Karangani uh, Predator Holding Facilities. A few months ago when we were contacted that there were two lions in the community area south of Karangani, uh, conflicting with community cattle, and then were at risk of being poisoned or, or some sort of retribution towards these lions. By translocating these two males, the foundation could help the community save the lions themselves from certain death and at the same time augment the population further north. I think I have started over a hundred lions and I usually tell everyone when I'm, when I'm about to do it that I still get shaky, you know, I get that rush, so it's something that I really like doing. Lion conservation is about space and we're giving them that space, but by doing so, the ecosystem will benefit, the people will benefit, and ultimately Mozambique will benefit. Look, this thing doesn't sit straight, I'll hit this branch right here. No, he's standing right here. Hop, hop, hop. I think I'm going to hit something, but... So we've got the first dart in, and the stopwatch has started. In a few minutes, he's going to start going down. After the first dart goes in, there is great pressure to get the second lion darted before the first one begins to wake up. Second dart is in. Eight minutes and 40 seconds after we darted the first one. The foundation of modern day conservation has got to be based on science. The foundation of science is good data. And so every time we have an opportunity to put our hands on an animal, it's really important that we gather as much good, solid data as we possibly can. Okay. Well, we caught these lions without mishap. We managed to load them on the vehicles and we're just arriving at the small town called Masangir, which is where the airplane should be waiting for us. Well, we're just about to take off. The lions are safely in. The IV is in just to keep them calm and hydrated. It's pretty hot. We're looking at almost 40 degrees. Here's the next leg of the journey. While in the air, the vet team constantly monitor the vitals of the cats and use the time to collect biopsy samples for DNA mapping. Upon arrival, the lions are quickly transferred to vehicles for the final leg of the journey to their new home. One of 
one of the most important things for the follow-up of these lions is to make sure that they're collared. And that way we're gonna be able to see where they move, how they interact with our other collared lions that are in the area. And it's gonna be very interesting to see what effect these have on the behavior of our existing lion prides. I don't have much of a voice, but it's a momentous day today, bringing two new beautiful lions in. We're a little short on big male lions and this will sway us in the right direction. Finally, the time has come for the lions to be released from their boma into the vast ecosystem that will become their new home. So I'm excited today because the lions are going to be released from the boma. So these lions are from southern Mozambique, so they present our lion population with some new genetics. There's also a new male coalition which will come and hopefully mate with our southern prides, who at the moment don't have any males covering them. Just um, put the bait down. We're just uh, running the rope back with the vehicle now, so hopefully in a few minutes the, the males will come to the bait. Yeah. The lions definitely ate the ate the reed buck last night, which is a great sign. How exciting is that? The two males coming out of the boma. We've got them on trail camera. These two males would probably have been destroyed because they were they were problem animals. Um, and we've been able to give them a new home here in the Zimizi Delta. And thanks to the Cabela Family Foundation for funding this initiative. As the lions take up residence in the ecosystem, it's a win on many levels. Their lives have been spared. A conflict has been avoided for a community. And the ecosystem of the Zambezi Delta is being repopulated with the apex predator once more.